you know if you can legally vote in Florida? If you're registered, if you have a voter ID card, well, a group of Florida voters is suing state and local election officials tonight, claiming the answers aren't as clear as you think. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki joins us now live from the Hillsborough County Supervisor of Elections Office to explain. Trevor. Jen, you may remember last fall when more than 20 people were arrested for what state agents said was illegally voting. Well, now a coalition is suing the state, saying that it's making it more difficult to see whether people can actually vote or not. They say that could have prevented these arrests. After 20 people were arrested for illegally voting in the 2020 election. Ma'am, we have a warrant for your arrest. For what? The Florida Rights Restoration Coalition is suing Governor Ron DeSantis and dozens of state and local officials. If you can't trust the government to verify your voting eligibility, who can you trust? Neil Voles is the deputy director of the coalition and a former felon himself, or what the coalition calls a returning citizen. The fact of the matter is people are getting issued voter ID cards from the government and then two years later getting arrested by that same government. Uh, we can do better. Though Governor Ron DeSantis' office did not respond to our request for comment today, at a previous news conference, he blamed local supervisors of elections. They're the ones that are registering people. It's, it's you go in your county and you register locally. You're not registering in Tallahassee uh, at the state government. And so it's really their responsibility to ensure that those voting rolls are accurate. The people who were arrested last year have felony murder or sex offenses. Nathan Hart was convicted of a felony sex offense in 2004. He said someone at the DMV signed him up to vote despite his situation. A couple of weeks later, I got the ID card in the mail, so I thought, wow, I guess, you know, maybe life's getting back to normal again or something. I'm able to vote after all. But nearly two years after he voted in the 2020 election, he was arrested. That was the first time I had any inkling that I was doing something or had done something that I wasn't supposed to have done. It was when they put me in handcuffs. Now, he says he doesn't even want to vote. And that's exactly what this lawsuit is trying to prevent people from being too scared to vote. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll have more from Nathan Hart, including how his voting case ended up in court. Jen? Well, Trevor, the governor said it is up to local supervisors of elections to check people's voting status. What were you able to find out about that? Well, both local election supervisors and Florida statutes both say that it is up to the state to determine whether someone is illegally voting or not. Jen? Trevor Sohockey reporting live for us in Tampa tonight. Thank you, Trevor.